from the present one. Something uh, is clear, something is not clear. Uh, it is not at all in, uh, conform with the modern discovery that the, the, the age of man is 10,000 uh, 10, years. No, not at all. No. The man appeared surely <laughs> much uh, in more, more ancient times. Uh, I have explained that very clearly. And uh, so that there is absolutely, uh, according to science, this age is in millions, of course. But it is according to scripture, the, um, the age of human being is estimated in, in 10,000 uh, 10, years, not at all. Not at all. The, for the Bible, it is less, and the Quran the, the, does not uh, teach. The, the least thing concerning the the um, uh, the, uh, the age of the of human being on this earth. Have you an explanation regarding the possibility of creating different human beings before Adam? Not, not of course, because if Adam is the first one, there is, it is a, to, to designate Adam, the name Adam is to designate the first man who, who, who appeared on, on that earth. There is no question about that. The, the last part I cannot answer because do scripture deny that man could created, could created, man could created, could be created, I suppose it's something yes. is missing That's right. in different form from the present of that one. Do scripture, but there is no nothing in the scripture we are, which where we are denying that. But it's a fact that man is man, and you have not to, to imagine uh, men uh, other than the, the, the men the, the, that we know. I cannot understand. Is there in the Holy Quran about the origin of animals? The, the Quran is not a book of science. We describe the, the animals like, like a book of science. Uh, you have not nothing in the Quran concerning the origin of animals. It's the Quran. It is said that we have a creator. The animals have a, a, a creator also. But you have not that in the Quran. But a protoplasm has claimed to be the basis of life existed in clay. Quran in Surah Rahman describes that man has been created by means of fine particles of clay. The Surah is quoted, Khalakal insan min salsal in kalfakhar. If the theory of evolution is wrong, can we not quote this saying as an indication that Quran has referred to the evolution of primitive creatures made of protoplasm? What is the but I suppose that the answer of this question does not know at all what is a protoplasm. Protoplasm is some is in each cell something which outside the nucleus. To to imagine uh, protoplasm uh, that can, that is absolutely in contradiction with, with all that we know since uh, uh, several decades. But I, I have not to, to answer the, to, to the, about this protoplans, but when you, it is said that Suratul Rahman described that man has been created by means of, of particles of, of clay. Yes, it, it is to indicate that the constituents of our body are, uh, that is to say, the, 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 the atoms, are exactly the, the, the atoms which might be discovered and which were discovered in, in the earth. The, it is, uh, there is no problem uh, of evolution in that. And I have uh, made the difference between evolution in the animal kingdom and the uh, transformation of the human species created by God. And you made a mixture of everything and I I exactly if you had not, you had not heard what I have said, I have, I have given the answer uh, the, uh, before. 
Does the modern science confirms the Quranic verse which states that God made every living thing from water? Yes, but and is the Bible consistent with this theory? The Bible said nothing about that, but it is. I have explained, I have said, I suppose very clearly that everybody want now support that the origin of life is aquatic. I have said that, I have given the, the answer. I read, I read of another theory of evolution with step changes. This was proposed to account for the gaps in Darwin's species of is it possible that the steps changes were caused by Allah's will and one of the step changes led to the creation of Adam? I have explained in detail this problem of the genus which are at the origin of any modification in a cell. So that now the theory of Adam, the theory of Darwin uh, it was an ancient theory at the time we, we, did, we did not know the least thing concerning evolution. Now with molecular biology and with genetics, there is no, no problem to explain the least thing concerning evolution in the animal kingdom by the theory of Darwin. Darwin is finished with molecular biology and genetics. When God says we created you, does not we refer to the trinity or multiplicity of God? No answer. As it is evident that Adam was created from clay or elements of earth crust, it is absolutely necessary to know how the creation of elements or particles or atom, atom was done in light of Holy Scripture. Please comment. But I have answered uh, to the question by my lecture. I cannot uh, give another lecture because I have explained all that in details. I cannot give you an explanation, but I have to repeat what I have said. Is there any contradiction between the biblical teachings and the origin of man other than the date? I have said concerning the Bible that the, the concept of creation well, was shared by the three monotheistic religions. But what cannot be accepted concerning living beings in the Bible is at first the fixity of the species in the animal kingdom and the date of the origin of man. But the Bible does not contain uh, uh, so, uh, so numerous teachings as the Quran. The, 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 two, the, 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 the two important teachings in the Bible were precisely about these two questions. And uh, since the author of the Bible have written their books uh, in close conformity with the, with the concept of their day, with the tradition of their time, the, the scientific error, what appear now as scientific error in our day, were, were absolutely unavoidable. Can that, that, excuse me, that does not mean at all that from a religious point of view, many teachings of the, of the Bible are, are not at all to be taken into account. I am speaking only about the, the, the subject matter of, of this lecture. Can all the theories of evolution be accepted or reconciled with the position of those who believe in creation? Personally, I, I am a believer in God, I am a believer in, in the creation, but I think that uh, from a scientific point of view, there cannot be a, any doubt about evolution in the animal kingdom and transformation in the human species. The, the two things are 